Okay, so to see this sort of population type growth question in action, let me actually tell you some, some things about population. Since 1950, the world population in millions is actually approximately equal to an exponential function, in particular this one. So P of T will be the population T years after 1950. And it turns out that this is roughly speaking 2,600 times E, that special number, that's 2.718 raised to the power 0 0.018 times T. Where I remind you, T is the number of years since 1950. So if I want to know the population roughly at the year 1951, I wouldn't put in 1951 here. I would just put in 1 because it's the number of years after 1950 after 1950. Okay, well this closely models the population growth and to, to explain that to you or to see that, let's actually figure out what this model would predict the population to be in 1970. So what would this say the population was in 1970? Well in 1970 that was what? Well that was 20 years from 1950 so I put in T being 20 here because this is the number of years since 1950. And then the population, which is given in millions of 20, would be what? It would be 2600e to the point zero one eight times 20. Times 20. And what does that equal? Well, you can use a calculator that has an E button. This is 2.71, da, da, da. But if you work this out, this equals approximately a 3,726.65. So that means that there's going to be about 3,726 million people on Earth in 1970. That's what this predicts. That's what this says there should have been. You want to know how many there were? Well, it turns out that there were about, so the reality, so this is the model, 1970. And then the real thing is approximately 3,700 million, or 3.7 billion. So look how close those are. That's amazing. You can see this number E is really working for us here. Let's try another one. How about what uh, would this have predicted the population? What does this think the population was in 1990? 1990 was 40 years after 1950. So that population in billions would be P of 40, which would be 2,600 times e to the 0 0.018 times 40. And what would that be? Well, that equals, if you work that on a calculator using an e button, you would see 5,341.5 something. So in fact, uh, 5,341,000,000 is what this model says should have been the population, world population, in 19. 90. What was it for real? So this is 1990. And real? Well, the real population was 5,320,000,000 people. Look how incredibly close those answers are, this predicted one and the actual one. So you could ask questions like, well, what does this model say the population was uh, in the year 2000? So that would be what? That would be 50 years from the year 1950. So if you plug this in, I would just put a 50 in here. And if you use a calculator, the number you get is 6,394.96 million. And you can look up on the web or an almanac and see what the population in the year 2000 was. And you can see how close this was to this. The important thing is you see the occurrence of E and the exponential function and how accurately, I mean sort of with amazing accuracy, captures a model's population growth. Cool. Exponential, E. Gotta love it.